Hi everybody, this is Tony Ann coming to you live from New York. We are doing rotisserie chicken three ways. I had, bought a rotisserie chicken the other day and I couldn't decide what I wanted to do. Really, in theory, I'm gonna make four things, but I'm not doing one today. I'm gonna be doing it. I might do it during the day tomorrow and record it as a reel. But anyways, so we're gonna start with this. This is just three easy ways to do a rotisserie chicken. Right now I have my pan on. I also have my oven on. So the first thing we're doing is we're going to make rotisserie chicken. Uh, we're doing quesadillas. So we're doing that for Ani. That's what Ani's dinner is going to be. So as people drop on, say hi, tell me where you're coming from. If you've never seen me before, if you could put new, if you're watching on a replay, which means the little red live isn't on in the corner, put replay and if you wouldn't mind sharing this out, it helps me a ton. Um, so for Ani, we're starting with the little zero uh, carb shells. It's looking like I don't have anything else, not from what I see. Actually, that's not true. I do have other ones, but I am gonna use these. So I think what I'm going to probably do is actually make her two of these. Yeah, I think I'm making her too. So what's everybody having for dinner today? Or what did you have for dinner today? I hate when you go to BJ's. I don't know if you guys have a BJ's or a Costco's. If you have a BJ's or Costco's in your area, tell me what one you have. Um, BJ's, I've noticed, has been freezing these, so they stick. Okay, so I'm just starting with putting these down. I put a little bit of olive oil in the pan. Putting that down, we're gonna put the meat and the cheese on. And in the meantime, we will prep Scott's while we're waiting for Ani's to cook. And I did not move my thing over. So if you guys are talking to me, I can't see it again. So as people drop on, say hi, tell me where you're coming from. So we're done with this. So Ani's is going to be a quesadilla and we're going to do chicken, barbecue, and cheddar. That's what Ani's going to have. That's what Ani's is going to be today. So we're gonna start by putting some of the chicken down. Oh, you're lucky. Um, I just saw a thing today. Uh, well, actually it was funny. I saw something the other day that showed Oh, what a ding dong. I just put it down without cheese and you guys can't see this. I'm just realizing this. Hold on, let me move this back a little bit. Ugh, there we go. Okay, now you can see that. There, now you can see that. And actually I'm dumping this back because I just realized I didn't put any cheese down. It won't stick to, it won't have anything to stick to. There's a meme and it says something about um, your Italian family and then they're sticking their hand in the hot oil and I'm over here putting my hand in the, on the hot pan. But anyways, okay. So we're putting a little cheese here. Then we'll put the chicken on top. Okay, so let's see. You had salad with deli roast beef. Uh, Barbara has both Costco and um, BJ's. So which which one do you like? And there's also Sam. So what's your favorite? What's everybody's favorite? I'm going to put a little bit more cheese on the top here. Hi, Gina. Hi, Ruth. Hi, Scott. Hi, Grace. So I don't know if anybody saw my post today. I was not, it is so dark over here and I don't understand why. I wonder if I have a light out. Um, anyways, my, I put that post up today and just so you know, if anybody has prescriptions, watch my stories. I'm not gonna get into it right now, but I'm just gonna say, I saw something, I just learned about something today and if you guys only knew, but anyways, uh, I just learned about something today and it was very interesting to me, but you know, there's, there's ways to save on your prescriptions and I put one of them out there. It was kind of news to me. I did not know about it. You guys might all know about it. I don't know. 
Okay, so Ani's is starting to cook. When that cheese melts, we're gonna flip it over. We're gonna move on to the next dish. Barbara likes, you like BJ's. Um, I'm jealous, I want a Costco's. I'm gonna be honest with you. I, we, there's supposed to be one going in the area. They've been fighting that for years. So I don't know if I'll ever see it before I leave here, but. Okay, so right now I am putting chicken in a bowl. I'll show you guys in a second. Actually, yeah, no, I'll do this. This will be for Scott, this next one we're doing. So this is, this is probably, if I had to guess, um, maybe like six ounces of chicken right there. Okay, so for Scott, Scott is going to have, we're gonna do his like a burrito. Um, it's not really a burrito. Maybe, what else could we call it? Like a wrap kind of thing, you'll see. He's not really like, he's not, he's not doing a burrito. But anyways, so we have the chicken in here. He wants buffalo is what he wants. So what we're doing, this, I know it looks crazy. That's melted butter. This was buffalo before, it just wasn't very hot. So this is all the butter that was left from it. So I'm kind of redoing this a little bit. And then we're putting in some red hot. And in the meantime, I'm checking Ani's quesadillas. You guys can see this. So her cheese is melted, I can see on the bottom. Oh, that one didn't brown enough. Let's put this one back a little bit. We're gonna let that one go. Okay, so for Scott. So we have the butter, the red hot in there. And he wants, um, he's having his with, I think I'm putting provolone in his. And he'll probably want ranch, but I'm not putting it inside of it. I'm not doing that. So in the meantime, we will prep it right here. So I'm using a cut the carb wrap. These are very, um, they're very thin. They're light. Light is the better word. Think of like a fried potato chip, that kind of crisp. And after we cook this, I'll, I'll cut it so you guys can hear it. So we're just gonna prep this here. We're really doing it on the stove, but um, we will, there, let that go. Okay, so now we're gonna put his in here. We're gonna start prepping his. So now we're on number two. You go to BJ's, you like the deli, the coffee pods, the bottled water. You don't buy much bulk. Yeah, you don't need it. Okay, so we're just doing this like a wrap. Now, um, for these cut to carbs, one cut to carb, and I should have started mine. One cut de carb um, would be a serving. So we're just gonna kinda like line this up. Can you see this? I'm gonna show you, I'll bring it closer to you guys. So put it like in a burrito shape. This is more like a Moe's burrito. This is gonna be a big one. So here, I'm showing you guys. Okay. And then I'm putting provolone on it for him. Where did I put that? Putting provolone on his. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Trish. Oh my gosh, Trish, I haven't talked to you in forever. So Ani's is almost done. I'm doubling his cheese up just in case it's too spunky for him. I don't know. Okay, we're putting that right here. So now we're just going to wrap this up. We're getting this all ready because this is going to cook next. So like I said, can you see this? Um, cut the carb. It's a lot like a... Think of the Joseph's Lavash, but it is it is so, so much thinner. Here, I'm going to try and show you. 
I mean, can you, it's like paper thin. Can you see that? It's like paper thin. But the nice thing, it crisps up so light. So what we're gonna do is we're moving this over, get this out of the way, because I wanna get mine started in the meantime. Okay, so Ani's is all crisped up. We're moving this one over. We're going to put a little olive oil on here. So as people drop on, let me know what you guys are having for dinner today. Putting a little olive oil back in the pan so his can start frying up. Let that get hot. And I'm putting it steam side down. So in the meantime, we're gonna start and we're gonna hurry up and get mine started. So I'm doing mine as a pizza, because I like pizza. But I am using cut to carb again. That is what I'm going to do, is cut to carb. So what's, who likes rotisserie chicken? I should have asked you guys that. Who likes rotisserie chicken? And for anyone dropping on who does not already know, um, one cut to carb would be considered a serving, just so you guys know. I know with Joseph Slavash, a half of one is a serving. What is that? Oh, um, a half of one is a serving, but for this, uh, one would be considered a serving. So this is, I'm doing this as a, this will be like a um, flatbread pizza. Think of it that way. We already put that down and I'm putting a little bit of oil on this. I'm doing really a little bit because I really just want it around the edges so that it does not burn. Um, and because I didn't get my little brush, I'm using my fingers. Touch up. You guys can't see my stove, but um, I don't. I think I did it as a live. Did I did a lot do a live with showing you guys all the olive oils I bought? Hold on, I gotta get a hand. Oh, uh, get a towel. Show you all the olive oils I bought. Oh my jeez. All right, let's check Scotts. Okay, so we're just trying to get this to go crispy here. I'm gonna show you this. Look at it. it. Now we're gonna brown it on all sides. But see how that browns? It's gonna be so crispy. It's, I love cut to carb. Now I will tell you guys though, the thing with cut to carb, you can, I believe, somebody told me they could buy it in Costco, I think. Um, I believe you can only buy it online. So I'm putting a little bit of garlic powder on this, a little bit. And if I had something near me, I probably would put something else on that too, but we're gonna leave it at that. And we're going to put, um, we're going to put some mozzarella on this. We're gonna put it in the oven for a minute while his is cooking. I had to guess I probably I probably did more cheese than I really needed to but maybe I did um, a third of a cup here I'll show you so all I did a little olive oil cheese that's it so far this is boring I'll admit you'll you'll see wait till you see what I do wait till you see okay let's check this see how his is going yep so we're browning all the sides I love this stuff. I don't I don't cook with it that often, but I love this stuff. So this one is not Joseph's Lavash. This one it I would compare it to it. I would compare it in a way just because a lot of people wouldn't have access to it unless you buy it online. Um, but Joseph's Lavash is thicker. It's more more like a tortilla to me, uh, but it's on the wheat side. I'm just drinking water. 
uh, hi Jenny. So the new people dropping on, hi Carolyn, hi Jody. The new people dropping on, let me know where you're coming from. I'd like to see how far out this goes. Okay, and I will try and show you. We got this brown on three sides right now. So you can see this, right? Yep, it looks like it. So this is how I made the egg rolls. I don't know who caught me seeing the egg rolls, you know, oops, way back when, but uh, I make it with this because they're so light. I'm probably not gonna fry the edges. I don't know. I mean, I could, I could get the tongs and be a nice wife and do that. We're giving it, we'll give it a quick fry. It's cut the carb. C-U-T, C-U-T, D-A-C-A-R-B. I can drop it, um, I can, I can put it in the description of this or something so you guys can see it. Uh, there, there's so much you can do with it. Oh, I love it. And I usually, is what, there's a lot of meat in this. There, there's a lot, if I weighed this, if, if there, there's a lot of meat in this. I think he'll be fine. And he'll be the first one to tell you, his wife always, I never finish, so he gets mine. All right, so we're going to put his, actually I could put it on here, let's see. We're gonna put it on here so it can cool for a minute. We're going to put that on there. Okay. Now, back to mine. Mine's been in the oven. Do I not have a pot holder here? What the heck, Tony? Oh, okay. Okay. We're making do with what we got. So... Cheese is melted, but we don't want this, you'll see why. We don't want this to be, um, we're not, we, it's okay. We want it just like this. Because what we're doing now is we're putting it right in half. And this is really going to be the pizza. So because this is such a thin crust, I du just doubled it up. And then this is how it's really going to cook for the pizza. And we're just going to... I was gonna use the word decorate. We're gonna, um, we're just gonna put the toppings on here. Okay, so for mine, we're gonna go hot. I'm just doing straight red hot. I'm okay with that. I think I'm gonna do some straight red hot. Oh, pans off. Straight red hot. Who likes red hot? What's your favorite hot sauce? Can you freeze? It? Yes. Cut the carb actually comes frozen. Uh, they tell you to, I usually keep it in the freezer and what I will do is I'll put it, pull out one thing at a time. Okay, so if you guys didn't pick up what I just did, I just did red hot, normal red hot, straight on, and then I used a little bit of ranch. So basically think of this as my, Oh, I got worried for a minute. Think of that as my tomato sauce. Pretend it was tomato sauce, right? Next, now we're putting down cheese. And I did mozzarella inside. So for the cheese, I'm gonna do a little bit of Parmesan and I'm gonna do a little bit of cheddar. Doing both. I'm not doing Parmesan, mozzarella. Um, yeah, but definite Frank's. I love Frank's. Um, Frank's is definitely, definitely a favorite in our household. Okay. So I've got my cheese. 
And I am putting down a little bit of mozzarella again. I don't know if you guys picked up on it. Initially, I didn't turn my pan off. I did. I've since done it, but um, it will keep smoking. Just give me a little spooked out. Okay, so now I'm doing what I just did to Scott's. I'm going to kind of wet this chicken up a little bit. So I'm putting some chicken in here. And Barbara, this is where I'm saying if that wasn't enough for Scott, Scott's just going to finish mine because... I probably won't finish this. I might have half of this one. And if Scott happens to watch this, he's probably gonna be excited. Okay, so right now I'm doing the same exact thing. I'm doing a little bit of, I'm not scooping this time, putting a little bit of the butter on, a little bit of the red hot. And you guys, you can make this any way you want. I actually was tossed between the, what Ani was having and then Scott said buffalo sounded really good to him. My daughter would, there's a place um, here. I don't know if it's all over, but it's called DeBella's. You guys got a DeBella's near you? So the one thing that, all right, so can you see this? So I'm just putting the chicken down now. Um, DeBella's has this one sandwich. It's a sandwich shop, kind of like um What's the other one? Mike's, Jersey Mike's or something like that. But it's better, better. They have better bread, if I had to tell you anything. But um, they have this thing called a cowboy. And a cowboy is similar to what Ani just had. Chicken cheddar. Chicken cheddar, um, bacon, barbecue sauce. That's what it is. Okay, so we've got the chicken up on top. And last thing, I'm putting provolone on this. Now, I'm going to put mine back in the oven, and mine's going to probably go in the oven for, I don't know. I want my crust to get crispy, so it might be six or seven minutes. So we're not going to stay online, but I could take a picture and drop it in. And if you want, I could do it as a little gif or something so you guys can see that it does get crispy. It will hold this up because this is kind of loaded. All right, so I did provolone up at the top. But that's pretty much it, guys. So that's chicken three ways. Really simple. Threw it together quick. And um, is my pan hot? Yeah. So we're going to put this in. And let that go. So I can take a picture and put it out there for you. Uh, I hope everybody has a lovely night and I will see everybody later. I'll drop that picture and I'll put that cut to carb out there if anybody's interested. Uh, when I order it, like I said, I normally get the box and it, I want to say it's like a four pack and they send it in a box. It usually comes frozen. I, every time I've gotten it, it was frozen and I just throw it right back in the freezer and then I'll only pull one out at a time, you know, when I use it. And it isn't something I use every single day because if you are strict keto, just you just want to be cautious because it is considered keto uh, or dirty keto, but you just want to be careful because everybody reacts to, um, if you're not strict, everybody reacts to all the dirty parts of dirty keto differently. So what might work for one person may not work for somebody else. So just keep that in mind. You know, if you were doing keto and then all of a sudden you're stalling or if you're doing keto now and you're somebody who does a lot of the, like I just had the zero carb shells. If you do those often, but you find yourself stalling, it could be it could be that your body is reacting to that and um, it's spiking your sugar. So just be careful. That's where I'm going with it. I, to me, it's more something that I treat, you know, it's kind of a treat. I don't, we don't use it that often. Um, but I hope everybody has a, you're low carb. Yeah, you'll be fine with it. You'll be absolutely fine with it. How many are in a pack? I, I want to, well... You can order it different ways, but I believe one of these has 10, 12 shells. One, one, pack, one package has 12 shells. So there's 12 of these in here. Like I said, each one of these winds up being a serving. 
And I want to say the one I get is a four pack. You do not have to buy the four pack though. You definitely do not have to buy the four pack. Um, yes, I hope everybody has a great night and I'll see everybody later. All right, bye.